So another quick office video, but I'm in my office this morning, this time is about correct, and I thought, well, you know, let's try a quick ETM scan with a PL330. So I brought it in this morning, we'll do a scan and see what we hear. A couple of comments about this location. This is, as you can see in the background here, a concrete block and poured concrete building from the 1960s. There's a narrow window to the left over here that faces north. And I would assume that that's pretty well the only place RF is getting into here at the moment. So uh, not a very good location. If you've seen some of my earlier videos from here, you've, you'll know that I've played with antennas mounted on the window and a variety of other things. And so that's all we're gonna do. So we'll just run through this scam and I'll probably put a cut or two in here and then we'll uh, we'll see what we've got. Okay, we're getting towards the end here and let's see what we've got. It's showing it's hunting for number eight. So that means we have seven channels. There we go. Um, the E09 indicates that it's the ninth hour, which it is. Um, that in, and so what the, uh, the ETM Plus setup on this radio does is it keeps a list for every hour uh, of the day. So let's see what we've got. Probably not too much. I'll start at the bottom. I would expect Radio Marty and maybe some of the other American broadcasters, probably religious broadcasting. Oh, we've got the time signal. Tell us, when is this devastation? So that's probably the overcomer. This destruction that you're talking about. When? From the U.S. Each other's bags and turn us all into wonderful little families. Similarly, same thing. And that's it. So we've got the time signal and a couple of incidences of the overcomer. And that's really all I would expect from this location at this time of day. With a better antenna, you might be getting the tail end of morning shortwave, but by nine, we're kind of out of it. And I wouldn't really expect much activity to pick up until later on. So here's round two, a little later in the day. We'll put a bit back in ETF mode and do a quick search. I don't anticipate that the scenario will be much different at uh, just after, well, not just afternoon, 10 to, 10 to 1 here in Toronto. All right, coming to the end now. Shall we see what we've got? 12, so that means it's probably going to tell us that it found 11 channels. So let's see what they are. So we're doing better than we were this morning when we had, what? two real ones, both the overcomer, and then we got the 10 kilohertz time signal. So let's see how we're doing now. Not some sort of interference, I think. Head of the baby's condition. Family, friends, and even friends of friends. Don't I think this is Radio friends. Marty. It's been a while. After the biopsy. No, no, it wouldn't be Radio Marty. Because it's in English. It's, Remembering that moment this is going to be another religious broadcaster. This quote. is 10 kilohertz time signal again. It is in there. Can vaguely make out the call sign. Digital signals, I'm sorry. This is a, if Revelation was written in the first century, of course it was. Well, now you, 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 you can go and preach, you gotta get to, you know, that kind of thing. But, you know. So, what did we have there? I think four stations, all religious broadcasters, of course, at this time of day. But, Again, keep in mind, this is a very poor receive it, reception environment. Um, we are inside a 
what I like to think of as a concrete bunker. In fact, the other thing I didn't mention earlier is that there's essentially a berm outside here. The building is sunken on this side into the hillside a little bit, which even further reduces one's ability to pick up radio signals. But the uh, PL330 still comes through, manages to full pull out four signals, five, I guess, if you count the time signal, would do better if we were a little closer to the window and obviously would do loads better outside and at the top of that little hill. So um, I'm not sure really what the point of this is, except to, you know, remark that once again, the PL330 does pretty well, all things considered, but this is not an ideal location or time of day for shortwave listening. So if you are trying your shortwave radio, even a pretty good one, in a, a non-ideal circumstance, don't expect to get a whole lot, right? You're not going to ever pull international broadcasters in any significant way from this location. But if you went outside, you probably would with no problem. Hopefully that's been uh, interesting. It's been a while since I've done a shortwave video, so I thought it might be fun to do a little one here while I had a moment. Thanks for watching.